A great personal example is there's a device that's been defunct for a long time called the Pogo Plug. The Pogo Plug was a piece of hardware that was just a, you plug a hard drive in it, it's got an Ethernet connection, and USB, you plug it in, and it synchronizes with the cloud, and you have a website you can connect to, and you can do all these things. Effectively, it was a baby NAS, network attached storage, and it would back up to the cloud. Well, Pogo went out of business. So a brand new Pogo plug out of the box will go to dial home when it boots up, and guess what? There's no home for it to dial to. So when it goes to dial home, it just hangs in this flashing state and you have effectively a piece of landfill waste. However, the Pogo plug has a spot on it that you can solder a TTY, meaning effectively I can solder a keyboard. To it. And once I solder that keyboard to it, I can then get it another spot to show me the screen and now I can connect to it. It's just a Linux kernel, and I can replace the internal components of the Pogo plug with my own internal components, software-wise, Linux kernel and functionality. I can even upgrade it because it's got a USB. It's got a SATA port. I, can, I mean, effectively, it's a whole computer. It can do whatever I want with that because I can deconstruct it and I can hardware hack into the device doing things that the manufacturer did not intend. And this device can have a much greater lifespan than just a piece of trash.